Yo guys, it's Leroy here. I'm back on a reaction video today. We have got Houdini and the City of Fallen rappers. This one is up on Trap Geek channel. Now I've reacted to one thing from Trap Geek. It is on the channel. I think it was H HSM something. I forgot what the name is, but it's down in the channel in the US reaction playlist, which is down in the description now. But also go check it out. But I, you know how the team sets, man. Make sure you like and subscribe. Get me to 420 subs so as soon as possible. We'll be in the background, feel like in the beach in the description. Uh, if you just want to go watch the video by itself, it's down in the description as well. All of our shows should be down in the description. And, uh, yeah, man. Hey, without further ado, let's get straight into it. And also make sure you subscribe, yeah, because I know some of you are watching this. You haven't even subscribed. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get straight into this. Your house is ten times the size of their house. That would make me dislike me if I was on the other side. Uh, uh, I don't need you, all I need it myself. I wasn't asking so nobody for help. She wanted me because the name ringing bells, designer the juice or designer the bell. He was just like my favorite rapper, literally of anyone. Oh, okay, he was my indeed. favorite. Oh, okay. When you really think about it, yeah, most artists do get killed in their, their home city. Mm -hmm. And why do you think that is? Adrian, people looking at you saying I wish that was me. Bullets sent many fleeing for their lives here on this stretch. Now the 21 year old has been identified as a popular Toronto rapper. All right, we got to talk about the Houdini story, right? The jealousy and hatred rappers got to deal with in their own home city is terrible. And that's a fact in every state in America. But one of the most violent cities right now for up and coming rappers to make it out of is Toronto. And people don't realize this. There's a reason Toronto's becoming one of the most surveyed cities in North America. It's looking like Beijing. They're getting cameras everywhere. Only Atlanta, Chicago, and DC got more surveillance per person. And that's because of the ongoing gang war that's been escalating for years, right? It's literally hunting season on rappers. And that's exactly what happened to Houdini. Houdini was sitting down with record labels in LA, New York, collabing with Pop Smoke. This kid was the real deal yeah. until a couple weeks ago, yeah, he was brutally we, shot and killed no, in broad. I remember this. I remember so many people on like YouTube being like, yo, RIP Houdini, RIP this, RIP that. And I was like, who the hell is that? You get me? Because I've never heard of him. You get me? And I've done my research and it's like, yeah, he was a rapper, you get me? I don't know much of him, I just know that he's a rapper, but okay, okay. So he was that much of a big deal, okay. Rest in peace to both of them, man. Great time. He was sitting down with record labels in LA, New York, he collabing with yeah. Pop Smoke. This kid was the real deal. Until a couple weeks ago, he was brutally shot and killed in um. broad daylight in the entertainment district of downtown Toronto. And this shit was surgical. They used Glock 9s with 30 round mags. They took advantage of Corona season by wearing medical masks to hide their faces. There was a six year old kid that got caught in the crossfire Damn. dodging bullets. That has a high capacity magazine. It's a 30 round magazine. And as this unfolds, I want you to pay attention to the little boy that ducks into the vestibule here. The whole thing was nuts, right? And the city is shook right now. Now we're gonna get into all this, but before we do, my song of the day today is none other than Houdini himself. Let's go. Okay, so he's got like the D block Euro vibe. He's got like a D block Euro kind of vibe with the auto tune and everything. Houdini I read it still. himself. Let's go. Money music, that's like v, 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 v. V, v, in order to understand this story we gotta focus on one hood in particular in toronto called driftwood or north side jane and finch and this is where houdini's from now they're by far the most influential in terms of music in the city but they're also a notorious crip faction right they beef with pretty much everybody in the city what? to the south of them the south side of jane and finch they bang blood and that's their direct rivals the lowest income neighborhood in the city called regent also has tension with driftwood stemming from rap 
rap beefs and rap killings. And another area called Rexdale has been Driftwood's rival for damn near a decade now. So they beef with everybody. Now in 2015, Driftwood kids kinda instilled the Chirac music vibe up in the north in Canada. They were putting disses to rivals in their tracks and talking about the stuff they were doing in the streets in their lyrics. If you diss my niggas, then you know we pulling triggers. Late nights with them killers, we kidnapping drug dealers. Now that song is Robin Banks featuring Pressa. Pressa is one of the few who actually crossed uh, over to the mainstream American okay, scene. Okay. And he's actually living in Cali right now in a nice mansion. His rap career popped off for him but before all that he was involved in a case where he allegedly kidnapped two drug dealers moving them around from location to location holding them for ransom until eventually forcing them to give each other head in front of everybody two dudes that's crazy now Presser was later cleared of those charges and granted the court i'm not gonna lie yo whoever told him to do that is a bit it's a bit mad still you find enjoyment in doing that it's a bit mad i ain't gonna I think like, what? And I thought, man. But before all that, he was involved in a case where he allegedly kidnapped two drug dealers, moving them around from location to location, holding them for ransom, until eventually forcing them to give each other head in front of everybody. Two dudes. That's crazy. Now, Pressa was later what? cleared of those charges and granted the court's permission to go on tour with Drake out in England. And another rapper got six years in Pressa's place for the charge. Now, Pressa's partner, Robin Banks, who was in that track that I just showed, he was practically the pioneer for the scene, right? He had the torch early on from 2015, and he kind of started this organic hood label in Driftwood, where he was putting on all the rappers from his area. Robin Banks started getting millions of views, caught the attention of Meek Mill, who mm. really rocked with the movement. Meek Mill and Robin Banks were sending paperwork back and forth. He was about to sign a deal with the Dream Chasers, and to celebrate, he was having a party at a hookah lounge called Cameo, where unfortunately, his ops found out about it, infiltrated the party, and shot him up nine times, leaving him in critical condition. Just as this man was about to cross over to the US scene, they orchestrated that hit on him. Now thankfully, Robert Banks is alive, but he's paralyzed from the neck down. And his ops were super disrespectful, posting memes of him in a wheelchair and stuff. Now he's still doing his thing, releasing tracks, and of course, pushing the rappers from Driftwood on his label. But the rivals going after Robert Banks like that really escalated the violence in the city. And it made it kind of a trophy for people to target rappers. This was like the first high profile assassination attempt on a rapper who was about to cross over. Now the next year, the most influential artist out of the country was Smoke Dog. Now I'm not from Toronto, you don't gotta be from Toronto to know Smoke Dog. That's he was I, getting co-signed by Drake, doing mm -hmm. shows in the UK, in the US, and he's from the place called Regent Park. Now this is pretty much the trenches, right? It's the lowest income community in the whole city, but it's not very close to Driftwood. And because of that, they didn't really have too much tension back and forth until one summer night at a club in 2018, Smoke Dog got into a heated argument with a Driftwood rapper by the name of 21 Neat, and this shit escalated quickly, right? They stepped outside where 21 Neat shot and killed Smoke Dog and his manager. Okay. Probably one of the most gruesome after death videos I've seen of a rapper, right? People were filming him, and Smoke Dog's brain matter was like leaking on the road. It was a wild scene. Now, this pretty much gave Region the green light to go after Driftwood as retaliation, and this created a whole bunch of new problems in the city where two neighborhoods that otherwise didn't have too much tension now had maximum levels of tension and Driftwood didn't really care like they were welcoming all smoke now the Toronto police didn't arrest the rapper 21 neat for quite some time they couldn't find him there were even rumors that he escaped to Somalia but he eventually got found out all the way out in the west coast of the country near Vancouver where he was extradited back to Toronto to stand trial for the murder of smoke dog now this is when the story gets wild because 21 Neat has a brother who goes by the name of 22 Neat, right? They're both from Driftwood, they're from the same block as Pressa, Robin Banks, they're all homies. Which mm. is why it was weird when everyone found out five months ago in December of 2019, 22 Neat killed his own homie and fellow rapper on their label named YS. YS had just gotten back from doing a bit in jail and he was on a bunch of tracks that were getting hundreds of thousands of views and out of nowhere the feds found YS's body all the way out on the west coast of the country near Vancouver. 
and the rumors started circulating that 22 Neat, his own homie, was the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody really knows why he why? did it, but some people say it was over money. That's not been confirmed. No. Anyways, 22 Neat knew there would be repercussions, so he fled to a place called Calgary, Alberta. But he didn't last long. They actually found him dead two days later as revenge for what he did to the homie YS. Now at this point, the city's in crisis and Driftwood was putting out all this talent, uh, but this horrific stuff blitz. kept happening. Oh now. my god. Yeah, 30, 30. The next to pop out of the city was this rap duo formed by two brothers from Driftwood known as the Talib Twins. They had this track with 5 million views that was scorching hot in the city and in the US as well before one of the twins eventually got locked up. So the other twin decided to keep the momentum going and kept releasing these fire tracks under the name the Talib Twin. In February of 2020, the Talib Twin was at a condo party on the 32nd floor of an Airbnb rental when two yes. of his ops no infiltrated kill. the party and started opening fire. The Talib Twin fired back and managed to kill both of them before he himself died at the scene. And there's a bunch of speculation as to what happened. I mean, you can't make this shit up, right? Like some people say he tripped and shot himself. But the feds believe he went into another room in the condo and just ended his own life. Like the story's Jeez. crazy. And the thing with Driftwood and the politics in the city is they beef with so many places that sometimes it's hard to say who is responsible for targeting. They got a lot of enemies. And then of course, at the end of May, the single biggest name out of Toronto who's not Drake or Tory Lanez or The Weeknd was the rapper Houdini. Now, as I said in my intro, this is a kid who is sitting down with record labels in New York and Los Angeles. He was gonna go places. But unfortunately, as the trend is in the city, Houdini was in the entertainment district of Toronto late in the afternoon. And little did he know, there was a Volkswagen Tiguan that was lying in wait on the east side of a street called Blue Jays Way, which is right where he had to go by. They were waiting for a long time, over 40 minutes. And Houdini was with a 15-year-old boy. Damn, they were ready to catch him, bro. They, they, they couldn't even care less if they had to wait for a whole year. Don't wait, East don't side wait, bro. of a street called Blue Jays Way, which is right where he had to go by. They were waiting for a long time, over 40 minutes. And Houdini was with a 15-year-old boy at the time and they were making their way down the street. And once they got in range of the Volkswagen, a lone shooter got out of the vehicle and started unloading a bunch of clips in Houdini's direction. There was this little kid who was caught in the crossfire as well as a family. Like this whole thing is on CCTV footage, right? It's heart wrenching. And they unloaded a bunch of clips into Houdini who got hit and kept running, right? Adrenaline, even if you get wounded mortally, you could still run because you got adrenaline. So he was running with a bunch of bullets in his body and then eventually collapsed and died. And the 15 year old kid who was with Houdini was also strapped and he was trying to get off shots back at the assailants and then his gun jammed, right? Which he got rid of in an alleyway and ran away. Now Meek Mill, Tory Lanez and a whole bunch of others took to social media to express their condolences as soon as this happened. And you could see just how much the industry was rocking with Houdini. Like this was a kid who was about to make it. But just look at Toronto, the city is in shambles right now. Like the retaliation killings have already been ordered. Houdini's own memorial got shot up in this ridiculous video you can see on YouTube. It's like this drive-by style video where out of the darkness, this car pulls up, starts opening fire into a crowd. The whole crowd is strapped up, so they immediately start firing back, but this shit is nuts. I know this happens in the States, it's nothing new, but I'm coining Toronto the city of the fallen rappers because the trend recently of the up and coming rappers who are now dead is just unparalleled. Like you can't compare it. But yeah, man, that's it for this video. Rest in peace to Houdini. Gone but not forgotten. Check out his music when you get a chance. And yeah, man. Damn. Damn. Hey, people are out here doing the madness. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm just gonna wrap the video up now. You know what I mean? No point of editing because this is just me reacting to a video. But damn. Canada is just a whole. I thought Amer I thought Chicago and America was worse. Looking at Canada, it, Jesus. What are you saying? A new rapper comes up and then they're already getting targeted. They're killed. I don't know why. If you're an established rapper, I don't know why. Like, why can't, why can't you just like? Well, because me, I'm thinking, why can't you just like? Once once you're established, why can't you just like move from one side to another? As in. Let's say for example, um, Houdini, right? Um, he's an established rapper, and everything like that. Why didn't he just 
move to California or, or move to a place because he's got the money to basically get a house there. You get me? So why can't he move there, get a house there, live over there, and not be threatened and stuff like that? Like he could have easily done that. A lot of the rappers have done that. Like Prezza, Prez, sorry, Prez. Um, he's done that. You know what I mean? He's living in California. He basically moved out before he could even get targeted. You get me? But. Yeah man, I didn't even know who Houdini was to you. I remember just seeing in my timeline like, oh people are saying R.I.P. Houdini, R.I.P. Houdini. I'm like, who's Houdini? People are saying, oh he's like the he's like the, the the like he's like a pop smoke version stuff like that. I was like, bro, well R.I.P. to him in it. Um, I'm definitely gonna go and check out a few things from him because I don't even know who he is to you. But it's sad, man. It's sad to you. All of this thing is sad. How how you establish rapper getting millions of views? Only for you to step outside and get killed. That's not really the best thing, is it? But hey, that's how the street politics go, man. That's how the hood politics go, man. You can't really do much about it. But hey, thank you guys for watching. I know this is a long ass video. I've been recording for at least 15 minutes, so this is some long ass video. You get me? But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. At this moment in time, we're at 418. Let's try to get to 420 as soon as possible. Two subs away, let's try to get there. Um, be in the background, feel like on the beat channel in the description. Video itself down in the description as well. Big up Chad Geek because he always, he's always comes through with the good, good videos to get me. Go make sure you go and subscribe to him as well, yeah. And um, yeah, man, I right, thank you guys for watching. I've been Lee Rosie, been the audience. Peace and love. We'll be back with a reaction video, man. I'm out.